finally welcome to our apartment tour like i said before i don't know if you guys are not tired of these videos where we show you our apartments but you guys are asking so here it is um by the end of this video i'll tell you guys how much we're paying for this apartment and you actually wouldn't believe it and i want you guys to guess which apartment you think is bigger the one that we lived in in the u.s or the one that we're living in now you would be surprised so write your guesses down there i'm really excited to see what you guys think but anyways let's start the tour starting off with the entrance where we still have our suitcase from where we just moved in so when you first come into the apartment um you have this rug and then you have closet space and for now we're just storing our winter stuff in here and oh no Jarastafari no and um and we have shoes in here and we also have a broom in here and don't mind that bag and then we have another little storage space right here for now we just put our book bags in there when we're going to the grocery store we'll grab them real quick and like some winter gear and a bunch of space that we really don't have much stuff to use for. So, after you leave the entrance place and hopefully leave your shoes here because I will get mad if you wear your shoes into our apartment, um, then you have these three mirrors, which I don't know why because I'm too short for this one and I'm too tall for this one and who's gonna look in this one? I don't know. But yeah, that's the design. It looks cool and I like the fact that, no, that's the bathroom light. I like the fact that it lights up like that. It gives the place a really nice ambiance at night, so that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, I forgot. And we have an intercom. So when our um, grocery delivery comes, because we don't go grocery shopping anymore, we just buy it and have it delivered. We just open the doors from here, and yeah, the guy comes upstairs, and it has been great. <laughs> Our favorite part of the house this is where we spend most of our time and this is where we started shooting our videos because the lighting is so good in here um, this is obviously should be a bunch of storage thingies but I am NOT buying furniture this um, this time around by the way everything that you see in this apartment comes with the apartment for the price we didn't buy the couch we didn't buy the center table or the coffee table we didn't buy the di the dining table. We didn't buy anything. The bed, we didn't buy it. Like the only thing we brought here was our clothes. So dishes and things like and that. And we bought dishes and stuff, yeah. But it was really, really, really convenient. But anyways, let me show you guys. So yeah, not buying anything for this. Oh yeah, we did buy this because I wanted the house to smell nice. Um this. Uh what what is this it's fragrance? Oh, it's apricot. It mm -hmm. smells so good and I buy it again. When you leave the door, you come into the living room. This is it. Woo! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is like one of the things that I really like the most about this apartment. This like carved wooden, um, I don't even know what this is. Um, if, if you know what this is, you can leave it in the comments, but it just really looks really nice and it takes away me having to buy like pictures to put on the wall or you know because this is already there i don't need to do anything else and, and it lights up and then it does light up at night we have this massive couch that like if i'm here and simus is there we can't touch each other and it goes well with the theme the light browns and the you know creams and whites and she decorated this very well i really like appreciate she actually the person that we rented from is a lady she actually got a designer to design this apartment and i can definitely see it um and then another thing is all the furniture is from the same company so this chair that and also the dining chairs are from the same company which i think why not if they look good keep getting them and then we have these really really massive windows that open all the way okay look this could never happen in America, and this is a safety hazard. I must agree. One thing that I do agree with America for is having bars on windows like this, because you know kids could easily fall out of windows. But if you're a responsible mom, you wouldn't open the window like that. You would open the window like this, because it opens two ways. So yeah, 
still allows air to come in and your kid won't fall out this way so I think that's great. In addition to having big ceiling to floor windows or floor to ceiling windows, I always get it wrong, we have this huge, huge, what is this, a window or a door? <laughs> I think it's window and a door. <laughs> we have this huge window door situation going on. This is the door to the outside and you don't know the cold air that just like it feels rushed good, though. into it here, feels but good. it feels good. And this is... Oh, it's nice out today. Yeah, this is our patio, guys. We have our own patio. And this is a door that leads to the kitchen. But yeah, it feels amazing. Amazing out here. Amazing. <laughs> okay, I feel like a damsel. A damsel? Where are you running? <laughs> forest! Forest! <laughs> oh my god, come back here, please, damsel. So, we are almost done with the tour and I hope that you guys have already made your guesses. Like, how much do you think we pay per month for this apartment? Let me also tell you what else is included. So, we got this apartment fully furnished and it includes a parking spot and we have a cleaning service every two weeks. Everything included. So, tell me, with everything that I've just said, what do you think that we pay per month for this apartment? Because you guys will be mind blown when you hear this price. So, here we are in the kitchen, but I wonder if you guys noticed that there was one thing missing in the living room. <laughs> and, and I hope that you guys can guess, but also I will tell you that at the end of the video too, if you haven't noticed it. I'll tell you what's missing in the living room. But here's the kitchen. Uh, one thing about this apartment, we have a lot of storage space. So the storage space, one, two, three, three levels of storage in each. So three times one, two, three, four. So three, four is 12. We have very high, oh, uh, this one doesn't really count because we can still store stuff up there, right? But mm -hmm. we really don't. Just small things. Yeah. And yeah, it's not very organized. I'm sorry. And of course the stove, everything here is electric, even our kettle. My mom would not um, recommend, but... Or, or approve. Or approve of this. But yeah, we even have an electric scale to measure how much food we eat. We don't really do that. Uh, but yeah, the stove, we have an oven. Um, and here is more storage. There's more storage up here as well, here and here. Um, and then we have our trash cans. Simis's cousin was here yesterday and I remember saying to her that I've never had this many trash cans in my life. There's a trash can for everything in Europe because they're very big on recycling. So we have a trash can for plastics and a, plas a trash can for glass. There's a trash can for mixed use garbage. There's a trash can for just food. And then there's a trash can for paper. So it seems excessive and I'm sure people will say, oh yeah, we do this in the US too, but we weren't doing this in New Jersey. Uh, do you remember us doing this in New Jersey? Not even close. It was either a trash or plastic. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it's kind of excessive, but we're here. We got to follow the rules. So, um, yeah, but guess what? Have you guys noticed anything else about this kitchen? Do you know where the fridge is? I'll, I'll give you a second to guess. Anyways, the fridge is over here. <laughs> this is our fridge. Um, our freezer is down below, which I truly appreciate because gone are the days when the freezer is up top and the rest of the fridge is at the bottom because people rarely ever go into the freezer, right? Mm -hmm. You mostly go inside of the fridge, so it's good that it's really accessible. But yeah, this is our fridge. It's kind of empty now. But one thing about us is whatever we cook, we eat it right away. So you'll never see like a bunch of stuff in our fridge because we eat a lot and we cook a lot. Um, but yeah, this is our fridge. I forgot to tell you guys about this thing. So this is a thermostat and in our apartment in Jersey, we had control over our thermostat, but it worked in a very different way. This one, um, so in Lithuania, this is the second place we're staying in because when we first came, we rented an Airbnb and we realized that the heating doesn't come from the walls or forced air or like, you know, something above. It comes directly from the floors because most apartments or the newly built ones will have heated floors and that's how you heat your apartment. Now, at first we were pissed off because we think it didn't work, but it does very much work. Um, we are so dried out at night and thirsty because the heat comes from 
you know below then it moves up through the bed and you just really get dried out but it works um yeah so we have control over this this is our millions and billions of light switches and another thing i noticed about here in lithuania is most of the switches are on the outside of the wherever you're going like this is our switch for our bathroom yeah speaking of bathroom let's go inside oh by the way can you imagine how little this door is to the bathroom you would think that the bathroom is like literally a closet right but you're in for a surprise. All right guys, this is our bathroom. I think my favorite feature of the bathroom is, boom, makeup worthy lighting. Look at this, so nice. I love it, but yeah, bathroom is super nice. Um, we have a bunch of storage that we also don't use. I don't know, maybe people think that I'm weird, but like, I'm so tired of buying stuff. I am tired of creating and just like accepting clutter. Like as you move around, you see so much stuff. And me and Simis, we're so used to moving. We moved like, I don't know how many times in the past five years. And then we started full-time traveling. So we developed this thing where the less things we have, the better it is because it's easier for us to get up and go if we want to. But I, I don't know, I just, I prefer to have the minimal amount of things that I need, you know, like we have our toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, the floss that we use, we have the mouthwash that we use, and then under here we have all the things that I use for my hair. Believe it or not, everything underneath this place belongs to me. Yeah. <laughs> With my razor is down there. Simis has a razor, but that's about it. And then we have our washer and dryer. So it's a combination of washer and dryer. And um, yeah, that's that's that. And storage. And then this is a storage place. Storage, 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 storage. So hair, I keep my wig shenanigans. My, um, what is this called again? Hair straightener, no? Flat iron that Flat I just iron. bought, yeah. Yeah, and um, towels for the bath we keep there. Yeah, it's not we, that interesting. We think of the hanging toilet. The hanging toilets, I noticed in Europe since the first time I came, so I got used to it. All the toilets here float, they're not attached to the ground, like the toilets in the US or Japan per se. Wait, Japan has the floaters too. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of weird, but I really got used to it because that's just what it is, you know? What about this thing? You like oh, it? the heating coil. This is so cool. So whenever we're in Europe, I noticed that in the bathrooms, they have these um, electric heating like what are these called fences we call them little snakes but anyway yeah, but this is not a snake right now <laughs> this looks more like a fence mm -hmm. so yeah the fence it it's controlled here and you turn it on and what it does is when your towel is wet and you're done showering you just put it on here and it dries your towel for you isn't that so smart and people i think put clothes on there if you wash your underwear or whatever you could put it there too and this is our um, rug that we use when we come out of the shower but yeah and another thing that I really like is at Ikea they sell the towels with you know this thing so you can easily hang it up okay and this is the bedroom where Sipman Jr. will be made okay um, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just joking guys actually I'm not but anyways <laughs> yeah so this is our bedroom um, and this pattern of wood carving is also in here as well. This bed came with the apartment and we are just glad we didn't have to buy anything. Can you imagine buying stuff and moving it inside an apartment? Can you? No. I am not interested at all. Anyways, yeah. So it came like this. We bought our sheets, of course. These pillows were on there when we, when we got it. So we still do them as decorative pillows. We throw them off when we're done. This table is built in. The side table is also built in, which is amazing. And they're all hanging. And we have two <laughs> levels of storage under here. And this opens out to be a table. So you can work, like if you have an office job, you can do that here as well. I'll just, I'll just show you. Yeah, and you can put a chair there. There you go. Ooh. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, so this is the, oh shit. I mean, shoot this. 
so this is the closets. Um, again, we don't have enough clothes to fill these closets and we actually feel good about it. You know how freeing it is to not have a lot of stuff. But yeah, so this is my side of the closet. It could have definitely looked better for this, but uh, but guess what? Guess what? This look, is a real video, guys. A real look video. Look at this side of the closet. Oh, look how nice and neat and organized it is. Just is look, it? Look at it. Oh, is yeah. It? I fixed it up for you the other day, actually. Uh -huh. when I folded your clothes, but I didn't fix mine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are Simmons' shirts and stuff. And we actually keep our dirty laundry, like, in the little corner back here. We bought these IKEA little laundry baskets that fit perfectly into that spot and this is all the perfumes that i have i'm so proud of my perfume collection guys <laughs> so yeah this is from um, a company called scentbird it is definitely not a sponsored video but i don't like to buy a lot of perfume because i change my mind very easily so yeah i have like samples and they work and, and i use them and they're travel size and they're travel size yeah so this is it you know, when I was growing up, and also when I go back to my mom's house, I see her dresser, it's full of stuff, and I'm like, Mui, this is not right. You know this bottle has been empty and expired since like 2022 or 2021 or something, and she doesn't care, she still has them. So I don't know if it's because of my mom why I don't like to have a lot of stuff, but anyways, yeah, this is all we have. We have our deodorants, we have our perfumes, and our lotion, and that's all we need. <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for the apartment tour. So in grand total, it's about 50-ish square meters. So you could do the math if you're not familiar with the metric system. Um, it costs us, how much? Per month. Per month. We pay $1,250 euros to live in this apartment. Yep. And if you remember earlier from what I said, we have a cleaner that comes in every two weeks we have a parking spot that is available to us downstairs and all the the apartment was fully furnished and we are how much how far from the city center like next to it we're like five minutes away from the city center by yeah. car it's actually this one this is considered a good neighborhood in its own right yeah and it's walking distance to a whole bunch of stuff like one of our malls and like grocery stores and like and one of the most important things, and that was an absolutely non-negotiable point, is that this apartment is on the top floor. So we've had our fair share of neighborly issues from our history of renting. And one of the main reasons why we kept moving was because of noise. Mm -hmm. So we decided that when we come here, top floor only. Like there's no negotiation about it. So, yep. so we got all of that. I feel like this apartment is a bargain. Um, for expats and like people that are coming from different places where the pay is higher, of course um, But yeah, we love the apartment. It's basically all we could ask for right now yeah. um, At the point where we're at in our lives and we we love living here. We love it We love going outside. We Well, he does. You don't um, love going outside. I but don't love going it's, outside <laughs> It's not because of this country. It's because of no, you. it's because of how I am. Yeah. I am not an outside person at all um but yeah it's it's good i really love living here and um i compared this apartment to our apartment in jersey city mm -hmm. i think this one is a little bit better but how i felt in the apartment in jersey city i felt exactly the same here yeah i thankfully didn't because i didn't feel that great at some time yeah no because there, but... you had other issues with yeah. the noise like he's more affected by noise than i am so it's not like I grew up in Jamaica, like you remember when we went to Portland, you would walk down the street and like five different places are playing music at the same time. So yeah. noise doesn't really affect me as bad, but I understand why it affects you like that because it's very quiet here in this country and it's very peaceful. So yeah. I get it. But now that we're here, we officially completed our first month living here. Yeah. And so far it's like, it's supposed to be like the harshest, most unfriendly climate yeah. that of the year. And it's like, we're good. And right now there is more <laughs> snow in the US than there is in, in Lithuania, which is crazy. Yep. But yeah, it's so far so good. And um, uh, I'd love to see what you guys will guess in the comments and let us know what you think of the apartment. 